baby. Same foot. Different prints. Rosanna, this is what you were trying to tell me. Hey. Would you stay up all night? What? What's going on? What was that? What's going on? I thought we were going to keep secrets from each other. I think maybe something shady happened with Jennifer's baby. Those papers you just stashed, they were hospital records, weren't they? How do you know that? You don't have to hide it from me. Okay, I think I understand what you're trying to do. You do? Yeah, you're looking for someone to blame. I'm just not sure suing Memorial for negligence is going to get you what you want. I'm not trying to tell you how to run your life. But just think about it for a minute, okay? Jennifer's baby was born so early. Maybe he wasn't strong enough to survive on his own. What if Jennifer's baby could have survived? Questions like that aren't going to bring him back. I'm dragging it through court... It's just going to make Jennifer relive it, and she's in pain, Paul. She needs to heal. I promise you that I won't say a word to Jennifer until I have absolute proof of what happened. Good. That's good. You know, you know, the best thing you can do for your sister right now is stop obsessing over things you can't change. Focus on the future. Get her to do the same thing. Stay positive. How do you do that? Simple things. Like today. I'm going to go buy a baby gift, and I'm going to stop and see Carly and the new baby. You want to come with me? No, I was actually there yesterday. I saw him then. Oh. Okay. Oh. You give him my love, though. Nothing out of the ordinary in terms of his treatment, was there? I don't know what you were expecting to hear, Mr. Ryan, but I can assure you that Memorial has one of the best neonatal units in the country. Your sister's baby got the best care available. Everything that could have been... So after he was born, you were with him the entire time? Well, I was there until the end of my shift. Well, who took over then? Special duty nurse Kristen Thompson. Well, I'm going to need a number for her. I should probably talk to her. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryan, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Well, she left town with no forwarding address. The night your nephew was born and back. Why'd she leave town? Well, rumor has it she came into a large sum of money. The lottery or something. At first, I didn't know whether to believe it, but this is America. Well, there's got to be another way to reach her. She's got family. She's got friends. Was she, was she seeing anybody? I'm you know? sorry, Mr. Ryan. Like I told Mrs. Montgomery, I don't know where she went. Rosanna asked you about this nurse? Yes, sir. When I met with her about the donation she wanted to make to the hospital. Do you remember when that was? <laughs> ever begin. It was the same day as her accident. We met at the coffee shop, Java. To think, just a few hours later, she was gone. Rosanna must have told you why she needed to find this nurse. She was making a donation to Memorial's Nurses Organization. She said she wanted to thank us all individually and ask if I could make a list of everyone's names and addresses. So the only thing she wanted to know about this nurse was her address? Well, she asked a few other questions, but I don't think I can tell you what they were. Mainly, I remember not being able to give her Nurse Thompson's address. Do you think maybe this whole donation thing was some kind of a cover-up story? No, I don't think so. She handed me a very generous... There's got to be something that Rosanna I'm said. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryan. I told you everything I know. Well, I'm sorry, too, but this is very important to me. I'm sure it is. But we gave Mrs. Montgomery's child the same care as every other baby. I'm not going to help you make a case against our staff. I think I better go. No, please don't. Don't go. Not yet. Please. Listen, Rosanna said something to me the night of the accident, but... but she lost consciousness before I could really understand what she was saying. So I'm trying to retrace her steps. And maybe I can figure out what happened to her before she got into the car that night. And if you and I keep talking, maybe you'll say something that could help. I'm not sure I can help. I'm going to ignore that. All right, I'm going to get rid of whoever that is, and then you and I, maybe we can finish up. Oh, 
I really need to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you had a meeting. Wait. Hey, I know you. You're the nurse from Memorial, from the neonatal unit. Once again, I want to tell you how sorry I am about your loss. Thank you. You know, you, you spent more time with him than I did. You knew what he was like, didn't Ms. you? Ms. Batley, thank you so much. Oh. I think I've taken up too much oh, of your time I... already. If I have any other questions, I'll call you, okay? Goodbye. All right. What was that all about? You couldn't get her out of here quick enough. What are you so worried about, Paul? Nothing. I just don't want to see you get upset again. Uh, I am so sick of everyone protecting me. You have no idea what it feels like. It feels so awful to make everyone walk on eggshells around you. If you need to know, I was talking to her because I'm thinking of making a donation to the neonatal unit in memory of your son. generous thing to do. I'm so sorry I snapped at you. I don't know what's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with No, you. Then, then why am I jumping down everybody's throat today? I did. I just did the same thing to Mom. Yeah, well, Mom carries a needle for every occasion. It wasn't her fault this time. She was just taking care of something that needed to be taken care of, and I blew up at her. Oh, I hate this. I hate thinking that I'm all right, and then all of a sudden one little thing happens, and I just fall to pieces again. <laughs> you ever just wish you could just turn back the clock? More than you know. I know it sounds crazy, but I wish I'd never gone to the cabin. Because I just... I just want my son back, and nobody can give that to me. Jennifer, listen, I know that you can't believe me right now. But everything is going to be okay, I promise. Thank you. <laughs> Montgomery. 